Hey guys and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Today we're going over the top five Afro slash African dances that came out and popped off in 2020. Okay, so in at number five, we're gonna go with this I'm a piano dance called the Pouncing Cat. Now I love this move and I'm gonna just give you a warning right now. I am not the best at doing this, but I'm gonna teach you the basics and the foundations for all my beginners, okay? So this will get you by at the parties, all right? <laughs> so you wanna think of your hands first, kind of mimicking like a cat as they say, right? So meow, meow, you're gonna mimic that right here. And you wanna go down and up, down and up, down and up. Hey. Uh, I kind of also think about it like a motorbike. You know when you're revving a motorbike, it kind of has that motion. Ha, da, da, uh. It's like bobbing up and down. Bobbing, 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 bob, bobbing up and down. Bobbing up and down. That sound is so bobbing, but you get the gist. You can see what I'm trying to do, right? Cool. So that's what we're doing with the arms. And you're kind of getting your shoulders involved too, and you're dropping it with the hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three three, four. Now you can see me kind of rocking. I'm already doing the motion with my legs <laughs> as I'm doing the arms. So what you're doing with the feet is you're bringing each heel out at the same time as your arms. So one and two and three and four. One, two, three and four. Now from the side, as my hand comes down, that heel comes up and then you swap it over to the other side. So from the right to the left, Right to the left, I, ah, ah, ah. Right, it's really odd doing it without music, but when you hear it with the music, it makes so much sense. But let's try it again from the beginning. Five, six, seven, let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, stylistically, I've seen so many different versions of this. Um, and I think you can just add your own little flavor. Like, it depends on how your body moves. Some people don't really move their head. They just come out with the arms. I kind of like to move my head with it. But it's down to you. Watch some videos for reference. Obviously, practice what I'm teaching you now. Do it with the music just to get into it a bit more. But that's the basics. That's the foundation. Let's try that with some Amma Piano music. <laughs> Right, so move number four is the legwork moonwalk, as we coined it. So what we're doing is we're standing to the side, it's always to the side, and you're gonna come up with your right foot out first. And then on the spot, you're gonna tap on your left, and you're gonna come back with the right to then swap over to the left. Left out, right on the spot, left back in. On the other side, right, left, right, left, right, left right left right left right left right left right left right left faster see now typically with the polka dance that this kind of is inspired by you're on your tiptoes just to kind of keep your feet light but for this because it's going to be similar to a moonwalk we want to have an illusion that we're sliding and it's a bit more of a shuffle Hence why you're going to use a flat foot and just step out right, left, right, left, right, left. So one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Now with the right to the left transition, instead of making a very obvious stamp, you're just going to go right and you're going to kind of push on the left before you step. Sounds a bit weird, but I'll show you again. So one push here, one push here. Ba 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 ba. You see where the slide comes in? Now I'm going to admit this. This is a bit more pro level, but if you can't do that, the alternative is to just step slightly. One and two. See how it's very subtle? Just like that. Just like that. Now, with this legwork moonwalk, we want to incorporate the arms. So the popular variation is to just roll your hands, just like that. Or you could just A, 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 A. But just to be on the safe side, I would keep the hands rolled because that's how it was originally introduced, you know? Just keep the hands rolled because this starts to look, you know, just like a pocket dance and we don't want to really cross the two over. We want to make sure there's a distinction, right? So just roll the hands in front of you, one and two, A. And that's the most popular variation of the legwork moonwalk. So let's try that with music.
Okay, so the third move we're going to go with is Network. Now, this move came out a while ago from Ghana, but it's actually been popping up again this year, and I think that has a lot to do with TikTok probably. But I've seen this Network, we've, you know, seen an evolution, and it's kind of looking like this now, but I'm going to break down and teach you the more foundation, the more authentic way to do it. So, there's a few variations, but the one I'm going to teach is just the easiest one I could think of. So what we're doing is if you kind of focus on your knees for now, you're going to come in with your right knee, one and. So you're bending both knees, but that right knee comes in ha, very slightly. One, and then you swap over for the left. Two, then you go back to the right. Three and four. And the count is and one and two and three and four, in and in and in and in and. Again, five, six, seven, let's go. And one, and two, and three, and four. Knee in, ha, ha, ha. So what I'm doing as well is I'm using my feet to help control that knee. So I'm like twisting my heel to whatever side I'm bending the knee in. So if it's on the right, you're twisting your heel out on the right side, and then you do it again on the left here. So, one, two, three, four. Now for this, the lower you are, the better. Ha. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, perfect. Now, upper body, what we're doing is, when I'm twisting in, you see how that right shoulder just slightly come up? I'm gonna show you again. As I've twisted in, whoop, that right shoulder came up. And it came back down when the knee came back out. Here, two, three, four, ha. Huh. So if you're bent down here, it looks like this. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Try and avoid going like this and pulling it. Just kind of let it rock. Two, three, four. You see, very slightly. We don't want to make it too obvious, right? Just a very subtle movement. Da, 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 da. Now, with that, we're going to get the arms involved. So as you're coming in, you want to bring the corresponding arm. So if you're on your right side, bring that right arm up and drop it. Up, drop, and one, and two, and three, and four. See, everything on the right side and the left are moving at the same time. So just the right, here, then the left, here, right, here, left, here. So fast, one, and two, and three, and four. Ha. One, and two, and three, and four. One and two and three and four. There we go. I feel like you guys are getting there. You're getting there. You're getting there. Now, just to show you a little bit of more of a variation that might be common to you, it's when you shake the shoulders a little bit. So you see, we have this foundation that we've just learned. If you shake it a little bit, it looks a little bit more authentic. Ah, da, da, da. Hey, ga, two, three, four. But that again, you have to get comfortable with the foundation first. So get comfortable with the foundation. Then when you're more comfortable, you're more used to the style, you'll be able to naturally know how and when to do this variation, okay? So for now, we'll just stick with the basics, okay? And we'll stick with this version. But I think we should try with the music. I think you guys have it enough to try with the music. Let's go. Proportion, proportion. I sing off on my portion. I want dance like my cousin. I want blessings in abundance. Proportion, proportion. I sing off on my portion. I want dance like my cousin. I want blessings in abundance. Oh, yeah, dance for your portion. If you want your blessings in abundance. Yeah. I'm gonna dance for your portion. Right, so at number two, we've got the Meku from Nigeria. Now this move, again, is evolved and I'm seeing loads of variations, but I'm gonna teach you the basics and the foundation and how it's, you know, supposed to be done as they say. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna jump back. Boom, just a little subtle jump. We don't wanna jump back too far. Just a little push of the butt backwards, okay? So you're gonna jump one, right? And as you jump, kind of push the arms forward. It doesn't have to be all the way out there. All of these moves are just very subtle and they're just very like, I'm showing off a little bit. That's the vibe you wanna go for, right? So we don't wanna be over here. We wanna be ah, here, okay? Just a little subtle, you know, movement. So from there, you're gonna now come forward with your right foot, your left foot, right foot. You can actually do whichever foot you, you, you know, you're more comfortable with, but I'm a right-handed girl, so I'm gonna start on my right all the time. So push back, bam, right, left, 
right, push back, right, left, right, push back, right, left, right. Now, on each step, we're going to shake the hips. So when you're stepping on the right, shake, 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 step on the left. Shake, 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 step on the right. Shake, shake, shake. So you're just going to go side to side. Side to side, side to side, side to side with the hips, okay? And again, side to side, eh, eh. And again, let's go. Hey, side to side, side to side, side to side. And as you're doing that, your arms are here, right? You're going to bring that right arm back to your right hip, da da da. Bring it forward, da da da. And bring it back, da da da. So you jump back, one, two, three. Jump back, one, two, three. Jump back, one, two, three. Three, jump back, one, hey, two, three. Now another pointer is when you're doing this, have your shoulders a bit up, that makes it look even better. So when your shoulders are kind of close to your ears here, it gives it a bit more of a feel to it. Gang, hey, hey, and back, forward, two, three, back, forward, two, three, okay? Now with the arms as well, instead of like just going straight forward and back, just kind of, Cock it out a bit. So just bend it. Da, da. Just be relaxed. That's the main aim. Just relax. We don't want to be too heavy with this. We don't want to be too far out. Just a little bit far out. We don't want to come straight back. We just want to kind of cock it back like that. All right? So let's try that again from the beginning. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Hey, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Hey, one, two, three. There you go. Now with the arms, once you get more comfortable, you can actually vary this up. So it doesn't always have to be out and back and forth, but that's the foundation and that's the basics. That's the most popular variation. Once you're comfortable, you can kind of just have your arms wherever you want them. Hey, but that's advanced. Okay. So let's try that with the music, the basics. Let me love you. Yeah. Let me love you unconditionally, baby, unconditionally. Okay, so in at number one, the top move of 2020, I'm calling it legwork crossover. So I'm gonna go over this as briefly as I can. I've kind of taught a few tutorials on this already, but I'm gonna give you guys yet another breakdown. So if you're familiar with the pocket dance, which you should be because you're watching my tutorials and I've definitely taught this before. If you're familiar with that, you know the basic rule of one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. So that's the count of all of these legwork variations. Well, most of them anyway. So you come out, back, back, out, two, three, out, two, three. Okay, so that's the basic rule. We're going with that count. Now the legwork crossover is a little bit more complicated just because of the crossover motion, but it's the same kind of count we're trying to aim for. So one and two, one and two, okay? Now, if you're thinking about it, the first one will always be an in. So the one is always in with one of your feet. So I start on my right side. So I'm coming in with this right foot. And what I've done is I'm just like kicking it up. Just like you're kind of kicking a ball, but just not so much motion, not so much swing. You're just gonna go here. So you're literally just gonna lift up that foot, boom. And as you do that, you're hopping on that left just to get you into that position, right? Quick enough, one. Right, so we've gone in, and we're gonna step on the right, and we're gonna step on the left, bam. Then to come in again, we're gonna have to hop with this foot, but we're gonna have to bring that leg that's behind forward. So you're gonna have to hop back on the right, forward on the left, down, down. So again, starting on the right, you've hopped in, in, out, back, and again, in, out, back, in, out, back, and in, out, back. Now the only way you're gonna get your foot up fast enough is if you hop every single time. When I've taught people in person, the one thing I do notice is that people don't hop, they forget about the hop and then they, they like, wait, what does my foot do now on the next one? You have to hop every single time. So every time you're kicking in with that foot, you're gonna have to hop with the other foot. So hop, step, step, 
hop, step, step, hop, step, step, hop, step, step. And the only way you're gonna hit that hop every time is if you're light on your feet. And the only way to stay light on your feet is to be on your tiptoes. So we're gonna do the whole thing slightly on our tiptoes. So you're hopping, boom, down, down on your tiptoes, boom, down, down. Let's go. Hop, out, out, hop, out, out, hop, da, da, hop, da, da. So faster, it looks like this, one and two. Right, and if you notice, my feet are kind of close together so that I don't have to do too much movement. If I'm out here, it's gonna be very hard for me to hit it. Some people can, I can, but if you wanna make it easier for yourself, keep your legs kind of close together. So, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four. Right, so slowly again, one more time from the beginning. Slowly, five, six, seven, and hop, two, three, Hop, two, three, I'll show you from the side. Hop, two, three, hop, two, three. Hop, two, three, hop, two, three. Music, you want it to be like this. Hop, two, three, 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 hop, two, three. Can't even speak that fast. That's how fast it is. But I think we should try with the music just to give you a feel of how it should look. And yeah. All the best, let's go. So that was the official top five Afro slash African dance moves of 2020. Make sure you try them out. Tag me if you can. At it's just Niffer and enjoy your new year. Bye.